Hello everyone in this video let us uh, take a look at uh, the fixed day hit and also the concept of uh, dynamic releases using auto scheduling feature in uh, portfolio for Jira. So in the previous video we talked about uh, release management and we spent some time uh, talking about how to create releases and how to basically uh, manage them as well using the portfolio plan where we also spent some time uh, taking a look at cross project uh, releases but this concept of release management is uh, a bit too uh, difficult uh, in the beginning if you are uh, trying to use portfolio for jira so in this video we will continue further and uh, we will uh, discuss uh, how to basically uh, make sure that whenever you are uh, working with fixed dates then the visual alerts that you will get on uh, the portfolio plan uh, will of course alert you on uh, uh, on cases where you want to let us say schedule something which is beyond your release date but at the same time you can also let portfolio do the scheduling for you and there is a concept of auto scheduling in uh, portfolio for jira i'm talking about the new uh, improved interface where you can uh, simply fill up the estimates and uh, you can also assign the releases that you want to do uh, when it comes to uh, let us say the list of activities that you want to plan and portfolio can basically decide the dates and the sprints uh, for for you so this is something that you can uh, do quite easily in a portfolio for jira and uh, the advantage here is that we are letting portfolio decide for us but of course when even if you're doing auto scheduling you can always uh, take control of your plan so let us take a look at our uh, our project first so right now we are talking about uh, this uh, ios project and uh, just to uh, just to basically give you this uh, quick summary of what we are trying to do we are trying to uh, create a mobile app on ios and android and uh, this is the schedule we are talking about uh, releasing something in february and march uh, uh, when it comes to the mobile app and the purpose right now is to do something like at least a release of the of the mobile app on both the platforms ios and uh, android and later on in the month of march uh, we will be adding more features so we are doing some release uh, starting with of course uh, february and we are releasing something in both ios and android project which of course we are managing using the portfolio for jira plan so this is my ios uh, project board where i have just one story in my backlog ideally i should have more but i just want to keep things very simple so that you understand how it works in portfolio and right now i want to this uh, user sign up uh, uh, which is of course a story it has a story a point estimate of seven and at the same time i also have my uh, my similar board for android where i have of course some stories like uh, user management and user sign up along with some story points now if you take a look at the portfolio plan right now we actually schedule the plan the start date and the end date manually and right now we don't really have any concept of sprints assigned to the stories and that is why we have a schedule for us where we have this uh, of course uh, very nice uh, roadmap now the good thing about this roadmap is that we have some uh, dependencies for example for the user sign up to finish we need to have the user management uh, capability in our system and uh, that is why if you let us say schedule your user sign up slightly uh, before the finish date of user management you will have the visual alerts which we are are aware of which we know uh, which is something that you can always fix very fix very quickly by uh, scheduling the uh, the the start date of your user sign up uh, functionality later on now you can see here on the plan that uh, we are releasing something on uh, on uh, 29th of february because uh, if you look at the release here if i go to the release uh, tab uh, here on top i do have this uh, so I do have this uh, release date for uh, my Android and my iOS uh, project which is 29th of February uh, but for the time being uh, uh, I mean I may be happy with my uh, with my plan but I want to show you how we can use portfolio's help to simply decide the dates or do the scheduling for us so for this purpose I will modify my Android uh, uh, 
release my fab release and instead of fixed date i will select after all issues are completed so basically i will let portfolio decide the date for me and that is why i am leaving it uh, uh, li leaving it without any date any fixed date i can do the same thing for ios i can change the release date to after all issues are completed and if we go to the roadmap we have of course uh, i mean of course the whole schedule is filled up but i can clear this i can immediately uh, let me just expand my release uh, uh, release column here slightly so right now only my story points are filled along with of course my dates but i can clear my dates let us say i want uh, to start from the very beginning where you may have some list of activities let us say you have stories and you have subtasks and you have of course uh, uh, the estimation done so for the time being let us assume that we are starting something very fresh and new with just story points which of course portfolio can pick from your uh, from your uh, board of course so let me first save this to jira so that we have uh, something uh, like a clean slate to to begin with now if you look at this particular uh, plan right now the portfolio for jira can actually schedule the work for us so i may want to of course make sure that uh, I am releasing my user sign up uh, uh, feature, which is of course my story in my uh, Android Feb release. Same for my iOS, but I am not really sure about my schedule, my sprints, and uh, I'm also not really sure about when I can uh, release. So what I can do now, I can click on this button on top called Auto Schedule, and when you click on this button, you are basically letting uh, Portfolio take control of your plan, and maybe I want to let Portfolio decide my sprints, decide my release, and also make sure that uh, Portfolio can also do the assignments of teams. So if I click on the preview result, Portfolio will suggest something for us. It will give us or it will basically make a plan for us. And if you look on this particular uh, on this particular plan here, let me just ex expand my sprint. So right now the uh, right now only sprint the the sprint one, which is of course part of my Android project, is uh, assigned to the user management feature because uh, uh, it will of course also consider the dependencies so right now there is a dependency on user management to finish only then user sign up feature or user sign up can be uh, can be started and that is why you can see here on the schedule that uh, these two user sign up uh, stories are scheduled after the completion of user management which is actually fine and uh, which is actually something that uh, we can uh, live with but we are trying to release something uh, in uh, february uh, at least uh, maybe uh, something before the end of the month so what we can do here because if you look at this particular plan it is going beyond the march now what you need to do at this stage uh, to make sure that the plan works for you or not maybe you can add uh, more capacity to your uh, teams or maybe you can add uh, uh, maybe you can just uh, reschedule the work so that you're not doing too much in one go but for the sake of uh, explaining what i will do i will open one of my uh, one of my story and I will remove the dependency. So if I click on the the story, which is my user management story, what I will do, I will make sure that I will remove these two dependencies, which is nothing but a link in Jira. I'll uh, do the same thing for the other one. Now, if I click on, if I go back to my plan, I can uh, see here that uh, if I click on the auto schedule button on top, it will do the scheduling for us. I think I need to just do a refresh. I'll cancel it. Let me just ref refresh my portfolio because uh, uh, I just did few changes in my Jira, my Jira issues. If I click on the auto schedule button now, hopefully it will uh, schedule everything in parallel. And uh, this is something that you can also control when you're working with the portfolio plan. You have the configuration. Let us say, I'll just show you very quickly. If you go to the configure option here, you have the option to basically do your dependencies uh, uh, basically at the same time. Maybe you have dependencies and uh, uh, for some reason uh, you want to have them in parallel. It can happen. Maybe someone else is working on it. So you can have concurrent uh, dependencies. So you have the option. Portfolio will give, give the option to change it if you, if you think uh, uh, you can't really wait. Now what I want to do here is I want to just make sure that uh, I plan my releases 
uh, so that uh, these releases are uh, i mean i just want to make sure that uh, these stories are assigned to these releases that i want to release i want the end date to somewhere lie uh, in the month of february so let us see what happens now if i uh, maybe if i click on the uh, uh, on the auto schedule button now i will get some indication let us see if we have an indication of uh, the date so yes we do have some indication of the date so you can see here on the top that uh, with the current situation you will be able to release on first of march which is some which is actually not bad uh it is actually working in in our favor we are releasing somewhat uh, somewhat in uh, the next uh, two weeks which is uh, the month of february but it is going one day beyond uh the month of uh, february so i think i'm i'm actually fine with this at this stage what you can also do you can have maybe slightly few additional things maybe you want to make sure that your uh, user sign up feature is uh, handled by the or basically it is added to the sprint of your ios project so you can do this kind of a manual assignment of the stories to the sprints um you can do the same thing for the other one now i'm making sure that i am uh, assigning the work based on the based on these uh, on the board or rather the sprints uh, where these uh, uh these uh, stories are uh, basically uh, stored in jira let me just uh, expand the column so you can always expand the column if you think uh, you don't have enough space to work on so l l let us just click on the button again and let us see how how not really the review but i want to click on the auto schedule and i may want to just uh, click on the preview button just to see quickly uh, how how it is planned so i can see here that uh, my user management is uh, assigned to the fa sprint 1 which is my android sprint my users to my user sign up of ios is assigned to the to the sprint which is part of my ios uh, project my ios uh, board but my user sign up feature which is uh, part of my android is not really assigned to the the android uh, sprint which is something that i need to figure out why it is not really uh, uh, getting assigned to the fa sprint now what i can do now i can cancel it and uh, i can uh, just to uh, remove all the all the sprints and uh, let me just uh, review the changes i'll just make sure that i have a clean uh, slate to work on now uh, l l let us start uh, from the very beginning and uh, the first thing that i want to do is i want to take a look at uh, my uh, release date so i'll probably remove my user management from top and uh, i will try to just review my changes and uh, make sure i commit everything to my project now at this stage i am still not able to uh, to basically i mean my, my purpose right now is to make sure that i do this or basically the user sign up sprint or the user sign up story is assigned to the sprint part of my uh, android uh, project let me just take a quick look at my android project where uh, i do have this uh, sprint i can of course manually do the configuration here i can uh, simply drag it to my i mean i can simply make sure that my fs sprint one it includes uh, the uh, the user sign up feature and i can uh, also click on the start button so the moment you click on the start button you have your sprint which is started in your project now if i go back to the same plan and if i do a refresh let us see what we see uh, you know what we have on the board so now the now both the activities under my uh, android project are assigned to the android sprint i will also manually assign the the sprint or rather the story which is my user sign up for ios to the sprint which is part of my ios project because because i just want to make sure that uh, correct people are working on those uh, i mean the, the relevant team is working on those uh, on those activities and i can also show you probably the uh, the team do i have the team option team option here i can uh, include my team here just to see how it looks like so okay so I, so this is the reason i think because uh, earlier it was uh, using the team which is uh, ios team now if i do this auto schedule now very quickly just to 
get a feel of uh, what uh, the situation is now i think i'm happy with this plan and right now i, I filled in my story points and i and i made sure that i'm releasing something i am assigning the releases i'll probably cancel it and i'll make sure that uh, even for my uh, for my android uh, stories i want to make sure that they're released as part of uh, as part of the uh, fab release for android so you can fill up the values manually and you can let portfolio fill up remaining things for you so if i click on auto schedule now i should have uh, the uh, the team 4d android assigned to my uh, user sign up which is part of my android project my team 4d ios which is assigned to my user sign up of ios and uh, i am i believe releasing somewhat uh, in the in the first week of march which i think i can live with so yes we are releasing something on on first of march not really february but you can always uh, maybe change your sprint duration because right now we are talking about 16th of february and we just have two weeks left so we are trying to finish something in uh, in our upcoming sprint which we are starting today and that is why it is going slightly beyond uh, february so uh, this is something also important because uh, the f the uh, I, I mean uh, maybe those dates that are uh, probably lying on the end of uh, month they are probably on weekend and uh, that is probably the reason so if i look look uh, quickly take a look at my my dates i just want to make sure that i'm not really really releasing anything which is uh, on a weekend so yes Fe february 29th is actually a weekend and uh, that is why it is going slightly beyond february so overall, I think I'm quite, I'm quite, quite satisfied with my plan. I think uh, right now I do have uh, this plan, which is, uh, I mean, I started filling up the plan by assigning the stories to the releases and uh, making sure the team is filled in because I want to make sure that the relevant team works on those activities. And if you click on the auto schedule button on top, you can uh, basically leave this option here like overwriting issue values so if you leave this as uh, empty values only the empty values can be filled in for you based on uh, of course uh, the current situation how, how much you're working how much you're supposed to work your team is, su is supposed to work because when you assign teams to your uh, your stories you also have the concept of the uh, the team velocity so right now if your team velocity is 30 which is uh, which is nothing but a suggestion but uh, maybe in your next uh, sprint you realize that you're not really able to finish or achieve 30 story points maybe you want to achieve uh, uh, maybe you want to basically uh, <clears throat> uh, you're able to achieve only 25 so you can uh, plan accordingly or you can take help from portfolio but right now we can see here that we are not really doing a lot of work for my sprint one we are trying to achieve 11 story points for sprint one for ios project we are trying to achieve seven story points so so we are not really pushing the uh, the capacity of the teams but of course when we start working on the uh, on the on, on the sprints we will have more clarity on uh, on how much work we can do i mean we, we will have uh, slightly more uh, knowledge and understanding of our capacity or basically the team's capacity so this is all i uh, wanted to cover in this video in the next video of course uh, we will uh, or in the next set of videos we will continue taking a look at uh, the concept of planning using portfolio there are a few other things that i really want to cover uh, but in the next video i want to spend some time talking about uh, the interface of portfolio so we, so we will basically take a look at uh, uh, different uh, things that you can do when you're working on your portfolio plan especially uh, finding the information easily and how to work with the filters and how to uh, change the timeline on your portfolio plan and i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much